So finally, I received the Otome Umi robot all the way from Australia. So I'm really excited to do the unpackaging and try out how cool this robot is. So let's get on with it. Okay, first thing is first, let's cut this out and then take this out, the cover. Otome, all the way from Australia. Here we have it, folks. I don't recall ordering the yellow one, but that looks really cool. It goes really well with my Tag Heuer smartwatch strap, so they can become best pals. Bit of a screen cover. ASMR. So unlike the previous Otome robot, this time this ear moves, as we all know. Very excited to see how that's animated. Bit of a weight. Good quality plastic, by the way. Or Tomi. And on the back, we got the USB-C, slightly judged a joint there, by the way, and also the power button as well. And if you were to take out the cable, that is a good quality USB-A to USB-C, and a lengthier one as well. Next one, Or Tomi owner's guide. Very simple instruction, QR code and a Or Tomi sticker. So this QR code is for the latest online version update it says tracian online version in korean by the way so the moment of truth let's actually turn it on the battery went out second attempt let's actually plug in the power to see if it works ah see or tommy very well animated quite cute the way how the ear works look at that it's like a puppy hello nice to meet you <laughs> nice plastic really i appreciate it so let's actually shake it a bit does it work yep it does it's like a puppy does it actually recognize any screen touch i don't think it does so let's scan the qr code so basically the qr code leads to umi anatomy so power on and off menu charging warnings updates finding treasures a scrapbook ear adjustment menu eye color as well so if you click on the menu button on the back this is how it looks like so the first one is called the uh, finding treasure okay so if you click on it at the moment there's a question marks because we haven't actually found any fruit apparently there's 32 to collect eight different treasures activities with four color variants on it the next one is the um, scrapbook so if we click on that, there's none at the moment. They like to stick things here from time to time. So we basically take a bit of a time to collect some of the things, but I think I can see some tiny stars and cloud here and there. Next one is the settings. The first one is adjusting the um, brightness of the screen. Okay, so if we click on that, that's basically to adjust. That's the darkest. Don't go to the darkest, by the way. So. I would recommend go to the brightest one actually. And then next one is for um, volume settings. You can go zero all the way up to max. Okay, so it does make a sound on and off by the way. And the next one is the ear adjustment. Okay, so if you click on that, this is basically saying how often you want to um, make sure the ear moves. So I actually put it on to max because I don't mind. And the next one is the color. So if you click on that, it's for uh, changing the color of the eye of Otomi. Umi, so that's the darker orange, brown, that's a really dark brown, red, various colors, it's actually becoming pinkish, yeah, complete pink, definite pink, purple, brighter, a bit darker, darkest, black, blue, uh, lighter blue, lightest blue, ocean blue, um, green, brighter green, dark green, yellowy, and orange. Next one is about the information about the model itself. It's a Kickstarter edition, by the way. Next one is about the Wi-Fi connection. And lastly, it's about to turn on and off of the Umi robot. So before anything, you gotta make sure Umi robot is up to date. So the way how you do this is go to settings on the menu, and then you'll be able to see on your laptop, for example, or your computer, this popping up, okay? So configure the Wi-Fi through this. So all I can say so far, it's pretty much the beginning stage of plenty of updates required. It can make a bit of a sound here and there. I guess if you actually put it upside down, will it actually animate of sadness? It's just staying still, still happy, okay? It's almost like a fidget robot on your palm, isn't it? 
And if you do that, that's very cute. I like that. Just a nice feeling. Yeah? It's like a good boy, good girl, whatever, good it. Yeah? So it's making a sound of appreciation. I actually chose the yellow one because I wanted something that is similar to Pikachu from um, Pokemon. And um, let's see if I could do a bit of a shake. <laughs> Look at that. That's very cute animation there. And yeah, even the movement of the ear, it's very much like a dog kind of animation, isn't it? So well done for that. So, so far I haven't seen any um, robot that could express this sort of ear, cute um, sort of expression. But again, the rest is a very early stage. So I guess we got to keep an eye on the Discord um, and see what they will say on the updates or additional animation that probably we could download and so on. So this is a screenshot of the question I raised on the official Otomi Umi uh, chat room on Discord and um, it's mainly about how can I actually get the treasure and the rocket feature for the backers and so on. One user kindly remind me to be patient, it will come over time. But the other user actually kindly showed me the list like knitting scarf, reading book, gaming control, all of them are actually for each. And lastly, I would like to highlight is the rocket ship for them for Kickstarter Umi backers as well. So I'm really excited about it, but at the moment, unfortunately, it's not available. It will take time, so be patient. So I guess this is more like a modern day Tamaguchi, more expressive, real robot rather than a screen version of it. So you need to nourish it. You need to exercise with it. You've got to be with it all the time to be able to get all these treasures scrapbook and so on isn't it a modern day tamagotchi so that's about it people so umi robot at the moment is very basic expressing robot only quite advanced flipping of the ear movement which is extremely cute but other than the stroking and shaking you can't get much of an animation out of it i look forward to getting any of these uh, scrapbook diary or treasure found and so on but um, I also want to uh, keep an eye on the Discord server um, from Otomi to see whether they will be able to provide any other additional animation just like the other Otomi robot as well. So I hope this video showed you what this robot is capable at this stage but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is Robot Review Tech. All the best! Bye bye!